Hi everyone, and <coughs> welcome to lesson two um, of our UE4 2D side scroller tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, as you can see, we're going to look at um, creating some pixel art. So we're actually going to make some sprites. Um, if you're not very familiar with pixel art or anything like that, it's not a problem. I'm going to do very basic um, artwork for this tutorial. I'm not going to go crazy into pixel art. Um, I'm just going to keep it at a, at a basic standard um, of what we need. Um, in regards to creating our sprites and etc. Now, in this tutorial, I'll be using Photoshop to do my sprites. Um, you can uh, use other applications. You could use Microsoft Paint um, if you feel comfortable with that. Uh, you can use GIMP. You can use this. There's loads and loads of programs out there that you can use um, to create uh, these little sprites um, for this tutorial. Um, the only thing that you should really take into consideration when it comes to creating these sprites is when you're looking at things like sizes and etc. That's going to be really important um, during this time of creating these sprites um, during the tutorial. So let's get straight in there um, and start looking at how do we create these sprites because we most definitely need them for this tutorial. Um, otherwise, our character's not really going to have much to run on or we're not going to have much of a scene to work with. Okay, so let's change over. So, as I said, I'm going to be using Photoshop for this tutorial. Um, as you can see down here, I have got it open already. Um, I'm using CC 2015. Um, it's up to you what version you use. Um, as I say, you can use any other program you like, um, but in this case, I'm going to use uh, CC um, 2015. So, my, as I say, this is a uh, these tutorials are all orientated towards my students, so I'm going to lay it out just like I would in the classroom, uh, so I teach them. Um, and what they're using for their lesson is we actually using 32 by 32 sprites. As you saw in lesson one, I just rubbed one off the internet. Um, this time we're actually going to create some of our own. It just makes life a little bit more easier, I suppose, um, in regards to uh, the tutorial. And if you ever need to make any of your own anyways, um, at least you'll know how to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to file, uh, which is really important or uh, new. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make our width and our height to 32 pixels. Uh, make sure you don't have inches or centimeters or anything else selected because uh, that's going to not make uh, exactly what you want. So please make sure that's right. Um, and make sure that uh, we've got RGB um, at 8 bits. I'm not too sure if it makes much of a difference, but um, I'm just going to stick with the 8 bit RGB coloring. Um, and also make sure that your background is transparent. And there's a big reason why, and I'll explain why it needs to be transparent um, later on during this video clip. Okay. So once you've done that, we can say okay. And it's just going to load up our 32 by 32 um, block. And as you can see, it's really, really small. It's going to be very difficult to start drawing on here. So we actually need to zoom in. So um, to zoom in on Photoshop, you just hold Alt and scroll. And you'll notice that it will start making like little grid um, of pixels. I know it's very might be very difficult to see on the video clip, but you'll be able to see um, little grids. It gets a bit crazy on your eyes, um, and it's yeah, it's very difficult to see. So what we're going to do is we're going to create ourselves a new layer, and with that layer, uh, we're just going to fill it. Uh, so we're going to use this paint bucket tool, um, and we're going to fill it um, with a black coloring. So that way we can see the grids quite nicely. Um, we are actually going to remove this layer later later on. Um, and go back to our transparent layer. Um, but yes, yeah, so we'll just stick with the black. It's a lot more easier on the eyes, and obviously we can work a little bit more better with that. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to recreate the the block um, that we had. So we're not actually going to steal someone else's, which we shouldn't really. Um, we're actually just going to make our own. Um, and it's very easy to do. Uh, first of all, we need to make sure that we're on the pencil tool. Very important. Uh, we can't use the brush, because if you have a look at the brush, it's round. Um, in pixel art, we need squares, so the best idea is to use the pencil tool here, okay? Um, and make sure that the pencil tool is set to one pixel. Uh, probably, I don't really need to explain that because we're going to be working pixel by pixel um, on this piece of artwork that we're going to do here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to have two tones. So we're going to have um, the dirt section and we're also going to have the, the grass on top. Um, so we're going to have two parts to this. So the best idea is to make two folders to start off with. So our first um, folder we're going to have is going to be the dirt part. So we're just going to call that dirt. And the 
Next one is going to be grass because that's our second part. Now, depending on what sprite you're creating, um, you might have more folders. I would strongly suggest make folders. It definitely makes your life a um, hundred times more easier um, with whatever you're working with. Now, I did say we're going for um, a very Sonic-y style type of game. So um, I'm going to try and hopefully um, do some very quick um, artwork with you that will sort of be very similar to a Sonic style piece. Um, of work. So we're going to start with the dirt um, and we're going to make sure our, our pencil is selected and I'm actually going to use these things called the swatches. Now you might not have these in, in other programs that you might be using but in Photoshop swatches is pretty cool um, and this way I can pick colors that I want to use um, and in this case if I'm using dirt there's already some brown colors here that I'm going to use. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, pretty much like a three-tone color um, to my dirt um, and it works in, in three separate layers. So you have your um, first layer which is your main color that you're going to have. Then your second color is going to be your lighter tone and then your third color is going to be your higher tone and that works quite nicely with this swatch because we've got a variety of colors we can use here in regards for our dirt. So I'm actually going to color pick this one uh, because this is probably on the highest but it's in the middle between um, our lower colors and obviously we need a higher. So um, we're always going to make sure there's one spare on that side. So, we're on our dirt. We're going to create a new layer because obviously we're going to start with our new layer. And I'm just going to draw in some dirt. So, there we go. Throw that in. And just to make things quicker, I'm just going to fill it in just like that. Uh, so, I'm just going to, all I did is draw a simple line across and then just fill it in to just fill in that block area um, with the brown that I wanted. Now, here comes the hard bit. Uh, I wouldn't say it's really hard, it's just very time consuming. So we, I'm actually going to create a new layer and I'm actually going to pick my lower color. So I'm actually going to go for this one. I'm not actually going to go for the one next to it. I'm going to go for a lower color. And this is where it gets a little bit time consuming. And you have, because I'm going Sonic style, you have to do every single pixel um, one away from each other. Um, so this could be very time consuming, um, could take a lot of time. Uh, we'll just get to the end of that and I'll show you a little bit of a cheat what we can do and what we could do is we could just use the selection tool and select that bottom layer like that and we can go new layer by copy so we're actually going to copy that layer and we can move that layer up just like that oops I moved it across okay so we can do that and you could do it this way where you could then duplicate that layer Oh, where are you? Duplicate layer. And duplicate the layer. Yeah, it doesn't matter because we're going to change. We're going to merge them together anyways. And then we do the same process over and over again. So I'm going to try and make this as quick as I can without pausing the video. It's a bit of effort to pause. So I'm just going to keep duplicating these layers as quick as I can for you. Go. I'm going to duplicate another layer. We'll move that one up. And we'll duplicate the layer again. And we'll move that up again. We'll duplicate the layer, move it up again. I do apologize, this does take a little bit of time. This is where the majority of our time of our videos are going to be is inside this. And duplicate that layer again. I'll we'll place it there. So now you can see that we're starting to get um, a very sonic y style um, type of, of dirt um, that we're going to create for. Um, our sprite. Now you can see we've got this mess of all these layer 5 copies and etc. So what we can do is we can click on the top one, uh, hold shift and click on layer 5. So we select all those layers and we can actually merge them so they all become one piece. Um, so we can merge all those layers um, and now they're all one solid piece. Now our next step, oh we forgot to select layer 4, sorry. Uh, so we can merge those together. Where are we merged? There we are merged layers because that was part of it because that's our lower tone. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add our high tone. So we're going to make another layer and we're going to pick the dark color. Now how I normally do um, the sonic -y style of art is that I work on a four block radius. So if you think of Tetris, we can have a block like that, a block like that, like that, um, what this? Oh, like that, okay. Um, and those are pretty much the majority of blocks that you have within Minecraft, uh, not Minecraft, um, Tetris. So, by doing this and adding it into this part here, it sort of gives it a little bit of detail. So, if I put a T here, and I put a T here, and I put a T here, you can see that it's starting to give the dirt a bit of feel. So, if I put a, a 4 in there, and a 4 in there, oops, that's only 3, and 
a four in here and a four in here. You can see that it's starting to get a little bit of shape. Um, let's add some squares. So there's a square there, and we'll add a square here, and we'll add a square here. And let's just put one here, just for a little off. And then we can put this little Z shape here, and a Z shape here, and a Z shape here. Oh, I made a mistake there, but it's okay. It's not, it's not the end of the world if you make one mistake. It's not too bad. And you can now see that I've got a three-tone color um, as a piece of dirt. Now, obviously, I don't want this stuff up here, so I'm just going to raise that out. So with the erase tool, will be fine. So be careful you don't um, erase this part of the block, which is going to be rather important. Okay. So now we've got um, all our dirt done. Um, this is going to play a huge advantage to us when we start creating our so-called sprite sheet. Um, so remember, just we're not going to actually merge these just yet, but we will do later on. So our next step um, is to create our grass. Okay, so again, um, same thing applies. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab a green. So let's have a look at the greens here. So let's pick, um, let's pick this green. And I'm going to make a new layer. Okay, so remember, this is our solid color. Um, and I'm actually going to go one, two, three, four, five, six up. That's how I'm going to have to color in, because if I had to fill it, it's actually going to fill behind the dirt block, and that's not what we want. And um, we don't want to fill behind the dirt block, because for specific reasons, when we get to that point, um, we don't. Yeah, uh, I'll explain why when we get to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to make another layer. And remember, this is our lighter one, so I'm going to go for this. Ugh, oh, it doesn't matter. Let's go for this mucky green. It's only a tutorial at the end of the day, isn't it? So again, the same. I've got the same procedure. I don't really change my procedures on how I work. Apologies, my phone is going off. I have no idea why. Okay, and again, we do the same thing. So um, actually, I could probably just duplicate that layer. And then move it up so I didn't actually didn't, I didn't need to copy that to be honest. The last one, and duplicate it again and move it up. So, previously, you know, when I cut it out, you actually didn't need to do that, you could just duplicate the layer. Um, silly me. And then, what we can do is then obviously merge these layers together. And our grass is looking really ugly, but again, this is just a tutorial to show you um, how easy it is to actually create these 32 by 32 sprites. So, um, let's merge those layers together because obviously that's our lighter shade. Um, and now again, same thing again, I want to then get a darker green, so let's go quite dark here. And let's start adding some features in. So that green actually looks like the green I already had. Oh well, it doesn't, as I say, it doesn't matter. So let's put that in there. One thing I want you to notice though, is that I'm not applying any of this to the edges. Now, the reason why I'm not putting any of the darker areas towards the edges is because when you think about how this is going to work, you can have one of these, and if you put it next to it, you need to see what it's going to look like next to it. Now, if I changed one of these, right, um, to a different color, and I put this side next to this side, it's going to look really strange. So we want to try and avoid that. So you try and keep everything um, in your one pixel border, so in here, so in the centerpiece. Otherwise, it's going to look really strange, and you don't want that to happen. And I made another mistake that I didn't make another layer. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter at all. So that's pretty much how we would create um, our pixel piece. Um, so this will be um, our piece that we will be using inside our game. Uh, however, I did say to you that um, I need to remove this layer. Now, I did say I'm going to, uh, I need to tell you why we need that transparency is because if you think about just a picture in general, if you put a solid picture into the game, uh, whether it be this or anything else, um, this black is counted, uh, even if it was purple, red, green, whatever, um, it would be counted. So the block itself um, would actually include this piece. Whereas if I apply transparency, um, the nice thing about Paper 2D is it removes anything that's transparent, um, which means my object is only so big, so it'll actually stop where my, my last color is. Uh, which makes things a lot more nicer um, and a lot more easier. So I'm actually going to select that layer, delete it out. Um, so I've actually got my block. And I'm actually going to go File, Save As. And I want to go into Random. It's definitely not where I want to go. Projects. Okay. 
Um, so I'm not going to save my content. I'm actually going to make a new folder inside my project called YouTube Tutorial. I'm going to call this Stuff, um, just for convenience sake. And I'm going to make a new folder called Sprites. In there, I'm going to make a new folder called PSDs, because you always want to save your originals, just in case you want to change anything. And then I'm going to make a new folder, and I'm going to call this PNGs, because that's what we need to save as. As PNGs. Remember, don't save as a JPEG um, or anything like that. Um, save as a PNG. I, I find it works best for me um, if I save as a PNG. So first, I'm going to save as my PSD. I'm going to call this um, Grass Main because we're going to make different versions of this Grass. So I'm going to call it Grass Main. Say OK on that. And I'm going to go File Save As. And I'm going to go into my sprites, and I'm going to save my PNG. But this time, I'm, as I say, I'm going to save as a PNG there, as grass main. This is easy as that. So I'm going to save that. Okay. And the last thing that we need to do is, now that we've got our block, is we're going to go into Unreal. So this is where we currently left um, our last tutorial was in this section. We're going to go into sprites and we're actually going to delete these out now because we don't need them because we've actually made our own. So you can see it disappears out of the viewport. So that's now gone. And we're actually going to import that in. So we go to import. Uh, it's saying content. We don't want to go into there. We actually want to go into stuff, sprites, PNG, and we want to load our grass main. And as you can see, there's our grass. It looks really strange. If you look there, if you look carefully, um, you can see it's got all this stretchy on it. Um, that will soon disappear uh, when we create our sprite. Um, but yes, that's pretty much the tutorial um, in how to create a 32 by 32 um, sprite. I hope to see you again in the next series. Uh, sorry, next, next series. I mean, next episode. Uh, don't forget to like, um, share, or um, subscribe if you like. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.